and then it was like boom and i was like i just stood there frozen like i had no idea what to do hello people who search the interwebs my name is natalie and welcome back to my youtube channel whoa i hope you all are having an amazing day and i'm so glad you decided to take however long this video is out of your day like 10 15 minutes out of your day to spend it with me i really appreciate it in today's video i'm going to be doing a story time i filmed a story time to check it out about uh how the fire alarm went off in my hotel and that one wasn't like that scary but this story is actually like really scary and it's still like affecting me to this day i feel like car accidents are honestly no joke and i can say that obviously the um action in the video could of course result in serious injury and car accidents are no joke i just want to share this with you guys because this was an experience that you know i think i should talk about and it took me a while to talk about because this happened a few months ago and i just wanted to tell a story to you guys so that maybe you guys don't make the same mistake as i do or if you did make the same mistake that you know is okay and that is actually pretty common to do this which i will share in the video also you'll see that i'm standing i'm not sitting down on anything because i'm going to be reenacting it my five years of theater experience will be coming in clutch that was dumb but hopefully this video will be entertaining because i do love love watching story times but i feel like if i you know act it out a little bit for you guys it could be fun make sure to click the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up i changed my uploading schedule to monday wednesday sunday and then every Whenever I have an extra video, I'll be uploading it on Saturday if I want to. Friday became too difficult for me, so sorry about the inconvenience if you liked Friday videos. Um, let's just get on with the video. It was February 25th, 2020. The start of a very scary year. Just kidding. So, I'm going to start the story on February 20th, 2020. So, in America, on your half birthday... You, uh, so when you turn 15 and a half, so on your 15th half birthday, I don't know, you can uh, go to the DMV and get something called a learner's permit or a driver's permit, whatever you want to call it. And it basically, you go in and take a test. It's like a few questions and you don't actually have to drive, but you answer like, what does this road sign mean? What happens if you park? Like, what should you do with your tires if you're parking uphill or downhill or whatever? What, how do you do the turn signal if your turn signal's broken, like with your arms? stuff like that and you go into the DMV and take it and then you get a learner's permit and basically means you can drive with a legal guardian or somebody over the age of 21 in the front passenger seat so then like you can drive with somebody in the seat so basically you can learn how to drive that's the whole point of the permit so my birthday is on August 20th so I got my learner's permit on the exact day that I could get it which was February 20th so you know, I got pulled out of school early. I missed my sixth and seventh period, and my mom and I went to lunch, and then we went to the DMV, and we waited in line, took the permit test. I missed one question about hydroplaning. You know, now I know. <laughs> and then, you know, I could drive. We practiced driving, and I was learning pretty fast, honestly. Like, I was doing really good with turning in the parking lot, doing decent. We, like, kind of started some parking, did good with, like, going on the gas. So my mom thought it was okay, you know, if I go in the neighborhood. So we went around the neighborhood and one like, and then I came into my neighborhood and my mom got out of the driver's seat, let me drive and then I drove to her house and I parked in the driveway and I did pretty good, you know. I wasn't like, you know, used to driving yet. So I wasn't very good at parking. Like, you know, I got like a little close to the house, but like it wasn't a red flag or anything. So then five days passed on February, 25th 2020 you know i went to school that day it was great i don't remember much about that day so then my mom was like let's go driving after school so we pulled into the neighborhood and then i drove you know over the speed humps and stuff parked in the driveway and it was good and then my mom's like let's go driving at a parking lot so this my mom's neighborhood is like right here my dad's neighborhood is like you go out you go out make a little left and then you go in and then his neighborhood's over here because my parents are divorced and then there's a big church with a parking lot there so i practiced parking and driving in a square 
and turning on the turn signal, like up and down, you know. And then my mom again, we went to, it was just my mom and I, then we went to another neighborhood, drove around there, and then we get back into our neighborhood. Mom's like, why don't you drive home? So, you know, I'm driving, you know, going over the speed humps, going with the flow. And then I get to my street, you know, I go into my driveway and I start to turn into the driveway and there's like a big like curb. So you have to like push on the gas to get the car to go, you know, up on the curb. So I pushed on the gas and it went really fast because I was not like I had been driving for five days and probably had driven in the car three times like before this. And, you know, get up on the curb. Mom's like, stop. And then like apparently I didn't I honestly don't remember anything like at this moment. And so then I get up and then my mom's like, stop. And then she yelled, stop. And then I pushed down on my foot, but instead of pushing the brake, I hit the gas and we went smack dab into the wall. And this is where I don't remember very much. You know, I was in the driver's seat. I remember I just like was frozen. Like I did not know what happened. I don't remember if I hit my head I don't remember anything that happened. The airbags went off. And I was like, sorry if you hear the toilet flushing. It's gross. But I was like, oh my gosh, what happened? My mom ran out of the car because my mom's boyfriend was in the bedroom, in the room that I hit, basically. So I'm going to try to illustrate. So there's a window here. Um, this is the wall I hit. And so this is the corner. I hit the corner. Obviously, the window went floop the window busted everywhere and so he was in there and there was a armoire you don't know what an armoire is it's basically like a, a giant tall dresser made out of like solid wood with like drawers and cabinets and shelves and stuff so there's an armoire and it exploded everywhere and so basically the armoire the one side like went over him and it basically shielded him from the glass so if the armoire wasn't there and he would have had like glass all in him so it was like a good thing that the armoire was there so it was there so my mom was trying to pull like the thing off because you know you, in this moment it's like it's either i know it's like a saying it's like you either like jump into action or you freeze i definitely froze i did not know what to do and i was sitting in the car with the airbags and this car was smoking and i was just sitting there like and this was probably in the matter of like three minutes. My mom ran inside and while she stuck her hand through the window, she cut her hand because she wasn't really thinking. So um, she'd have to get stitches in her hand because there was glass in it. But so she ran inside, got him out, came in, pulled me out of the car from the passenger seat. I don't really know why I didn't get out of my, on my side. There was nothing wrong with the door. The house took most of the damage. The car didn't have much damage. You know, the hood popped up. And since the airbags deployed, the glass, like the windshield broke where the airbags were, but it was not from the impact, it was from the airbags. And airbags are supposed to explode if the accident is over 25 miles an hour, and we did not go over 25 miles an hour. So they were like, hmm, this is a little weird. The airbag situation is a little strange. So then our neighbors on, so my house is like, this is the front door right here. So our neighbors on this side came running out and they called 911. Um, somebody across the street called 911 and my mom called 911. So they're getting all these, like nine, the police station's getting all these 911 calls. They sent literally eight police cars, I'm not even kidding you, lining the street. A fire truck, the fire marshal, the news came and my mom told the news to go because apparently if you say like you have to blur my face, blur the license plate, blur the address, blur everything then you know they have to blur the whole scene and then they can't film anything so they can go then they leave because you know it's not interesting so um yeah so the police came and they checked out the car obviously they have to take pictures the insurance company has to come and right where i hit it was like pretty close to the gas thing so they had to make sure that the house was livable and the house was livable so obviously there was a hole in the wall the window was broke a hole in the wall like a little squirrel could get inside and yeah I guess I'm not really just like I didn't really reenact it but anyways um yeah it's pretty scary um my mom obviously cut her hand I cut my knee it's not very bad I don't even think I have a scar from it and I 
got second degree burns on my arms, like right here, from the airbags, because we didn't know, like the airbags are really hot when they go foomp, like they go, it's scary, they go like foomp, and yeah, so I got burned and I fractured, or I didn't fracture, I sprained this wrist and like it looks funky, you know, you can't really see, but it's like twist, I don't know, I never went to the doctor for that because COVID hit right after, so you know, no doctor's office for me, so probably did not heal right, but you know, it's fine. Um, this wrist, it still has like pain. This wrist was like bruised, like had bruises like all over now, so sore the next day. But here's a little thing about a year before, fast forward a year before in 2019, in July, we had traveled to California for summer vacation. You're probably like, why the heck are you talking about this? Because my mom, we went, it was the first day we were, second day, second day we were there. When it was her new car, she got it in April, so it was like four months after she got it. And we were driving to Target while we were there, and they had redone, like we used to live there, so they had redone the Target. And so my mom was trying to figure out how to get into the Target, because it was like in the middle of a city. And she goes to turn, and she sideswiped a pole, and the whole door like crumbled up. So then obviously the car had to go to the shop. So two accidents were in this car in the matter of a year and in not even a year because the car would have been a year old in April and the accident was in February. So not even a year old are the two accidents. So then there was a third accident because this car is gone, it was cursed. Anyways, I'll get to that in a second. So obviously kind of, I'm a bad storyteller. I'm sorry about that. But you know, everybody comes, they do the house is livable. Um, my grandma comes, picks me up, buys me Chick-fil-A and I have to go to school the next day. So, you know, little me at school, all like freaked out with like my wrist. And I had my wrist in like a thing. Everybody's like, what the heck happened? Cause my wrist was like hurting me so bad. Like it was all like purple and disgusting. I did not take any pictures. Also, I will not be inserting pictures because I was going to, but the license plate is in the picture and my house address and the address and the license plate is like right where the accident was. So, you know, I would literally be blurring the, like, the damage of the car. So, no need for pictures. So, you know, it was very, very dramatic. I'm being serious, though. So, yeah, I have a, I didn't drive again. That's why I haven't gotten my license yet. My birthday was on August 20th, and I could get it. Like, I could go today and get it. But I'm just, like, really nervous about driving still. Like, it took me a while to get into driving. I still don't like to drive with my mom because she gets like, I don't know. It's just like too hard. And then about my mom got the car back from the shop about a month later, it was good. And the house got fixed. It looks normal, not in this room, my mom's room. And so it looks completely normal. And then about two weeks later, my uh, mom's boyfriend drives it to go get us, pick us up food in the middle of the pandemic. You know, when, this was when all the restaurants were closed and he was going through the intersection on a green light and some lady was going like 45, 50 miles an hour and she ran the red light and like hit him and that totaled the car. And yeah, so that car is gone and cursed by um, Mr. Nissan Pathfinder. We didn't like you. I'm just kidding. It was a nice car, but like, you know, it was very scary to drive and the brakes were so sensitive. So I still have a hard time driving. I still get like a little freaked out. I'm trying to get my license in the next few weeks though. I've done pretty good. Been on the freeway. I parallel park. I have three point turned. Yes. So I just wanted to share that story with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. There's, I'm trying to think if there's, I'm gonna try to think if there's any other stories I can tell. Comment down below you guys have any scary or funny stories or sad stories i guess that have happened to you comment them down below if you guys like this video i could do more story times and make sure to subscribe give this video a thumbs up push the notification bell and comment down below i love you all thank you so much for your support check out my other videos by pressing the i and or going and clicking on my channel and watch videos and playlists and I'll see you all next video. Bye, guys. TikTok has consumed all of our lives.